Hello, and welcome to the channel's first gameplay. Well, today I'm not coming with you with a complete match because the camera died uh, in the middle of the match. So I actually took the opportunity to actually experiment to see how the future videos of this kind would look. So I'm I'm currently playing with my friend Malt in this video. It's his camera that we're trying out, uh, and the plan is actually that we're going to start recording every top table game at our locals. So I hope you enjoy this Shadmon vs Yesmon match. So let's get into it. So going into the match, Malta will start. Patching into the Gurimon. Early rounds are just digivolving and drawing cards to cycle, finding your pieces. I already know my game plan here. Uh, I have every single uh, level in my hand except for the level 5, so I'm going to spend like the entire game just searching for them. So that's why I immediately dropped it from Master Disciple. And then immediately picking the ne next copy up to play it again. Ganko on to hand, now I have both Shad and Ganko in hand, but no level 5. And of course, Malty Boy over here has the one of Saber Hutmon in his hand. Playing out a Sistermon reboot to further search for more uh, cards. Taking Shad to hand. And already here, my you know, I'm in a quite a pickle, since uh, well, as you can see now, that uh, I'm still not going to find what I need at all, which is actually kind of the problem with the Shadmon deck that it's very hard uh, when you break. I do have all of the level six that I need in hand, but since there's only five level fives that you can search up with your cards, it's very hard when you break. To get into your place. So, multiple attacking to the security, destroying my Huckmon, since he doesn't really have all of the cards in hand either. Sadly, it will die to the Chimeramon in security. Thank God, or else I would have been screwed. And he's gonna further cycle to the deck. Hopefully, going to destroy me next turn. So I decided that it's just better to promote, drawing a card and hopefully to draw some more cards when I hatch into the breeding zone, but don't find my level 5 here, because since I have two Master of the Disciples, uh, level 5 will only cost 1, which will be enough to go into level 6. Sadly here, Malta goes into a Gankumon and he has no target in the trash, he has a very hard time finding his sister mods this game. So now when I uh, did evolve into Huckmon, as you could see, I finally drew my level 5 and my entire game plan here is just to essentially, I need to go into this, if I don't, I'm gonna lose the game. So multiple going to Shad, doing its effect, can play out Systemon, everything gets 2000 DP and protection from DP, redu DP reduce and uh, pretty much every other effect in the game. He'll swing into security for 15, drawing a card. Destroying my sister mon again. Checking into Huckmon. Just passing the turn with the Master from Disciple. So now I have uh, the chance to pog it. I'll promote and then I'll do a bit of Jogress Digivolving. Going to the Camaramon for zero. Doing minus two thousand DP to his board, but seems the Gankumon he can't. I crack the Master of Disciples, going into the Gankumon for one, doing its effect. I can play out a Hakumon system for my trash, so I'll play out the starter deck Hakumon. 
and uh, then I will do his effect to de-digivolve since I played a Digimon with an effect. Then I will go into Shad, doing his effect. I'll also play out the uh, Reboot Sister here to further dig you through the deck. And I will gain a memory since I played a Sister Mon. So I'll go into the Yesmon GX here. And uh, drawing the alt art, so I do a little sneaky, sneaky sneak, just uh, changing it a bit quick, having a laugh with, uh, with Malta. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do his effect, putting under another shad at his bottom the evolution source to proc his effect again, putting out another sister monk. Gaining a memory. He'll blitz for 4 checks into my opponent's security, They're destroying uh, a Digimon with 1000 or less. I actually have to resolve 2 BT7 Huckmons, looking at top 10 essentially to grab all of the Sistermons. And here we can see all of my level 5s in the decks pretty much. Uh. And I get to draw one card each for each Kurimon I have in uh, DX sources. So four checks for 22,000, immediately hitting into the Quake uh, Blast Father, killing my re Reboot Sister so I won't be able to Reboot Block on his turn sadly. So if he were to have the Pog, I would be super dead here. Hitting into the... From Master to Disciple, grabbing him a card, and sadly, now when I pass turn, this will be the last round. So, if you like this kind of format, I would love to hear what you think about it and what I, what I, what you think I need to do to to make this as good as possible. I know I'm not good at post commentary as I'm doing right now because I'm very new to it. So if you like the way I did the video, uh, let me know in the comments, and if you think there's anything I can do to improve it, please tell me that as well, because I think this could uh, be really fun to do in the future, because I'm going to hold a big tournament here in my hometown, where like 20 plus people will show up, and it would be super cool to make some videos uh, based on the top table matches there from people all over Sweden. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice night. Bye bye!